Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Mike Rondo and uh, I apologize for not doing a video yesterday, last night-ish. Uh, I opened the pool, did that before the rain, <laughs> ran into a few problems, sliced my finger. I don't know if you can see that. Um, well, the camera's having a little trouble, but I sliced my finger a handful of places uh, on my hands trying to tighten up things and I still got a few leaks, but I'm happy to say the pool filter did not blow up. <laughs> I was expecting the filter head to shoot up because I didn't think I tightened the collar tight enough, but but all worked out. But anyway, it is crappy out, it is windy out, it is rainy out, um, it's 50 degrees in the shed of solitude, which isn't bad, but it's, there's a chill in the air, and uh, this is not unusual for May, uh, to be honest. But uh, today, we're going to do a review, and this has been... I've put this off for quite a while, almost a month really, it seems like. At the beginning of the month I said I was going to do it and I haven't done it, but uh, Bill Bailey's Bulk and Blend is what we're going to be reviewing today. Uh, so let's get into this. Uh, let's crack this tin here. See if I can do it with my trusty knife. There you go. I don't know if you guys heard that. I hope you did. Yeah, so it's been miserable. The pool, I'm happy to say, is all, it's working. Uh, a few things I got to tweak, but, you know, all is well. Here we go. Ooh. This has got quite the uh, aroma here. In a good way. Let's see. Here we go. We got this thin piece of paper. Slightly wet, maybe. That's a good... The top layer's a bit dry, but as you go down, it's it's moist. So I think it's a good, happy medium. Hmm. Very pleasant. Um, I don't know if this is Perique or Latakia, or it's something of that variety, because it's... Hold on, let me let me get my trusty uh, magnifying glass out. See if I can find anything underneath here. Um, nope, uh, you're gonna die. And uh, this was made uh, two four of twenty one. <laughs> so nothing of that. I'll have to look up on the tobacco reviews, but uh, it's very interesting. It's it's pleasant for. That Latakia, Parikh kind of family of of uh, tobacco blends, if you will. Um, again, I'm a rookie at that stuff. I'm not, uh, but this is uh, smells really, really good. Um, so let's load this up. We're gonna we'll be doing the Dr. Lester pipe, his return. Uh, this is a Savinelli 320. What the hell is it called? A Venti or? A Oh, I can't remember the name, but I call it Dr. Lester because it's so charming and sophisticated, just like uh, Dr. Lester, uh, a.k.a. Redcoats Renaissance, if you will. One of my favorite YTP C guys. Um, let's get some of this out here. Put it in the trusty uh, bin of uh, tobacco, if you will. Uh, does anyone else do that with their pipes? Do they name them? Uh, of course, this is the shed. The shed pipe. It doesn't really have a name. It's just a shed pipe. It is the workhorse of my channel. And, and when I do my reviews, a lot of it seems to be out of the 320. Um, that particular one. Not not my 320. My first 320 that I have, which I call the Bruno. Um, but this one, I, I never gave it a name. But uh, let's see. Now that I get the tin on there, let me be here. I can see if it's got anything. No. Nope. Handmade in Germany. That's all it says. Uh, this product can cause cancer, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're going to die warning. But uh, let me load it up here. Let me get this all uh, squared away. And we'll smoke it, see how it is. But anyone else name their pipes? Like I have, uh, uh, what else did I name? Now I can't remember the names. <laughs> Oops. I'm 
hoping this is really good because I know a lot of people say this is great. So, trying to expand my horizons on my tobacco. I've been on a almost for like a year of aromatics. It seems well, maybe not that much, but since the fall, uh, Redcoats has uh, really got me onto the aromatics, and uh, I enjoy them quite a bit. I wasn't big on that. Also today, making his. Uh, well, this Zippo is making its return. The Signalman Tony Zippo is back. It's been a while. Might have packed this one a little too tight. Um, let's see. Can't seem to be getting. Quash. I always struggle in the beginning because I have the filter in there. And sometimes I feel like, of course, I don't know. I struggle in the beginning with the uh, with the draw, but then as I smoke, I get better. And that's a good smoke, good aroma. Yeah, see, I'm out already. There we go. That's a little better. Hmm. This might sound weird, but it smells like deer tongue. Like when I have gentleman cola, which I haven't had in a little while, and I need to get back on that because this is one of my favorite tobaccos. This has got like that deer tongue kind of aroma and a little bit of taste. I know that's not in here. At least I don't think. We're going to find out when I do the tobacco reviews here. By the way, you can always tell I'm using Tony uh, Signalman Tony's lighter. If you don't see like the, his signature here, when I when I light it, this is how you can tell because it's like a a flamethrower. It's kind of got this like soapy clean aroma and I mean that in a good way it's like kind of <laughs> it, it, it seems weird to say like it's it's clean like it smells like soap like that I don't know A bit like, I want to say pirate ship. But, but not as strong. I could be wrong on that. But it's got like this soapy, clean kind of thing going and I can't... That's the best I can describe it. It's not that. It's just making me think that. Uh, 
that deer tongue note is back. It went, it dissipated the last couple of puffs. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what Tobacco Reviews has to say. So far, it's an interesting blend. Um, it uh, reminds me of Pirate Ship. Well, Pirate Cake, Pirate Ship. I'm thinking of Haunted uh, Pirate Ship there, the blend I was mixing, which I haven't opened yet, but I'll wait till October. But um, no, it reminds me of, of Pirate Cake. Um, right here, pirate kick, but it's much smoother or less, um, I don't want to say potent, but less, uh, it's, it's subdued. And I use that a lot on, like lately I've been saying that on, on certain things like, it seems like the stuff that I have that's comparable is more subdued than the thing like, like pirate kick. I don't know. I'm not making much sense here, but um, if you watch my channel, you know what I'm saying. Like, there are some blends that are more potent with their smell and their aroma and their notes. Others are more subdued. Like, they're the same, but it's, like, muted, if you will. And that's kind of what that's like. And, nope, oh, there's Rocky. I would say I like this better than Pirate Cake so far. But let's see what uh, what the reviews say here. Let's see. All right. Right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, Rocky. We know you're there. All right, so it's got Virginia's. Uh, uh, it says various Oriental tobaccos, 10% dock fried, Kentucky leaf, 40% Latakia, with a pinch of Perique. So I th that was close. So Kentucky, Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, Perique, Virginia. It's kind of a smorgasbord there, huh? Um. So they gave it, so far, it's got a 3.1. I would probably say, yeah, that's about right. Um, how many reviews? 85 reviews. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, not much flavoring. It's other than that, like what I've described. Um, but it is good. Well, of course, I think I have a blockage. <laughs> I hate doing this. I hate opening it up, but I think I got a blockage. I think the uh, filter got blocked. That seems to be the case. Apologize for Rocky over here. I 
I can tell you what, on a cold spring day, this is good. Uh, this, is, this is good winter, fall. This is a good hiking, winter hiking blend, I think. Certainly a good shed, shed blend. This is a good contemplate life philosophy thinking blend in the shed. This one's a good, you know, when you compare it to the other ones with the, the flavoring and the notes and everything, that pop and everything, and this kind of just does its thing. Even keel, it, it, it's just enjoyable. Um, it's a slow down and think kind of tobacco. Well, well, all of them are, but this one's like one of those winter blend kind of, not winter, but a cold blend. Like when it's cold outside and dreary and miserable, this is a good blend to go to. Well, I definitely recommend it. So, again, you're checking out. Uh, I wouldn't say get it now. <laughs> get it, well, get it now, but don't smoke it till like the fall and the winter. Or unless you get, you're get you in the Northeast and you have a dreary cold day in May when it should be 90, well, 80 degrees and sunny and I should be in the pool, but it's not. So, I would say save it for a day like this, like today here in Rhode Island, and uh, it's worth it. But anyway... That's going to do it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Sorry they've been kind of spotty, but um, I'm going to get better back into the swing of things and uh, do more videos and be, you know, uh, more frequent again. Um, so anyway, that's going to do it. I say pick one of these up, this, uh, this blend, and you're going to like it. I like it. It's worth a shot. See you guys on the next one.